See what these radios are selling for on eBay. Some of the better condition ones, $44, $60. Pay very close attention to this one. The other day I just so happened to be coming home and I spied this set out for the trash amongst a few other things such as an old beat up desk a desk chair and a rusty old filing cabinet. I really have been wanting to get one of these Sony Hi-Fi table radios. I've heard very good things about their performance and reception capabilities and so I wanted to have one myself. So when I saw this out for trash I just had these uh, high cam... Are we going to cooperate or are we going to tell me to insert the cassette tape yet again? Okay, that looks like it's working now. There's how to use the old whack -a sony method to get this camera working again. So I saw this set out for the trash. I decided to take it home because even if it wasn't working, I could go ahead and salvage some of the many parts that are available in this. And to my great surprise, when I took this home, it wasn't malfunctioning. It didn't have a blown speaker. It didn't have bad filter caps. Absolutely nothing was wrong with it whatsoever. Except for the band selection switch and perhaps this was the reason why the former owners threw this out. You see this has dirty contacts and when you put this on and you don't play with it enough you would turn this on and you'd very faintly hear FM or AM radio stations but you'd mainly hear the noise of the audio transformer itself coming through into the speaker because you turn this all the way up expecting to hear something. I knew that was the problem to begin with because if I jiggled the, the uh, band selection switch around you would, uh, it would cut back in and you would hear the audio plenty loud without any of that hum and interference. And something else that is quite nice is that this speaker cloth is in perfect condition. It's not ripped, it's not torn, and in, most importantly it's not soiled with mystery stains as are most of these table radios because hey they've been around for quite a few years you have your tuning knob here and you do have separate treble and bass controls which is fa more favorable in my opinion than those combo bass and treble controls like a lot of boom boxes used where if you have it turned all the way down it's in bass and you turn it all the way up it's at treble I don't like that I'd much rather have separate treble and bass controls to fine tune the sound especially on radio stations that don't have the best sounding signal Additionally, here is your volume control, which also doubles as your power control. There's the aforementioned band selection switch, and turning this on will reveal... Front. It's very faint on the video, but if I extinguish some of these lights here, and there's a slightly more illuminated, a better lit view of the dial. So you can't operate this at night. Coming around to the back of the radio, the only mishap that this seems to have suffered in its former life is that of perhaps a little bit of an unfortunate fall or perhaps a, a bump up into something because this back grill here, this vent grill here, it's made of particle board so it's not the strongest stuff in the world has bent in just a bit and broken slightly but it doesn't seem to have affected its operation in any way and this is why I told you back when I was showing you these radios on eBay look very closely at that one particular model because this is that exact same model the ICF-9650W. Now if I were to take this thing apart I'm sure that I would find a date code on here. However this is in such nice working condition it's not something that I'd like to do at this point in time. And there is also a 300 ohm twin lead style external FM antenna connection. Now this does however use just the power cord as its FM antenna if you have no antenna hooked up to its external jacks. And the rubber feet are all here, they're not missing, so this thing doesn't rock back and forth when you're trying to use it. Even though this does not have stereo speakers, its performance, albeit in mono, is incredibly high fidelity. Its bass is actually rattling not only this desk, but the floor this desk is resting on. That's pretty impressive from a table radio of this size. Mm -hmm. 